In this video we're going to discuss interrupted elements and also fumbles where you might, uh, the operator might uh, not complete the uh, particular task it's working on in an expected fashion. So what we're going to do is start the study here by hitting the start button and he's getting the work order and he's got that now when he starts to walk we stop that now we do the walk to storage. Now maybe he's into walking a little bit and then the supervisor walks up and interrupts him. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop the walk to storage. Now the program itself is going to want to go since it's a repetitive operation to the next one to get part medium. But that's not what's happening. He's got a delay now so I can tap, tap the delay option here and you can see the different delay options. I have wait order, parts out or conveyor. And let's say he's talking to the supervisor so we do the wait orders. So you can see down here at the bottom it's changed the time. It's now recording delay wait orders. So the supervisor and the operator are working, are talking away, and then eventually the supervisor is going to leave them, and the chances are the guy is going to keep on walking to the storage area. So what we do is when we finish talking, we hit the time, and that stops the delay work orders. Now it doesn't. We don't know what activity comes next. We're waiting for the uh, the user to uh, you to tell them what it's doing. So in all likelihood, he's walking to storage. So we select the walk to storage. But this is not a separate event. This walk to storage is a continuation. So what we do is we use the Add to Last button, this button right here. So if I tap on the Add to Last here, notice that it puts a little plus sign in here. And what that's going to do, that's going to take the time currently being recorded and add it to the previous observation to give you the total time for that particular activity. So you don't have to worry about being interrupted. So we hit the time, and what will actually happen is that the point 0.168 you see here will be added to the point 0.033. And now it's, it might happen he was interrupted again. So in fact, we can actually say a delay. Maybe the supervisor came back and he's talking to him again. So you can see you've got another delay down here. So he's interrupted twice in the walk here. Again, when he finishes talking, we hit the time. We're then going to select the walk to storage and we do the add to last again. And what will happen this time uh, when I exit out of it, I hit the time. What would actually happen is the point 0.168 would be added to the point 0.633 plus the point 0.152 for the second interruption to give you the total time for that particular activity. Other things that might happen is let's say he's doing the pack, he's packing the item away and perhaps he fumbles the item and drops it on the bench or the floor. This is not going to be a good time that we're recording here now because he's not performed it correctly, something happened. In that case we want to skip it so we can click the skip down here, the skip button and what that's going to do it's going to put a little S in there. You see the S? And that means skip or suppress it. Still record the time, but skip or suppress it from the final calculation of your final standard. So the add to last is very useful if you're interrupted, and the S if you want to suppress any observation that you've made. Hit the time. Of course, that S is saved with it. So this would record the activity, but it will not include it in your final calculation.